Good evening. I'm sorry I'm a little late, I believe, but I hope you'll still come and join us this evening for St. Mag's um, prayer and community gathering together. I'm just getting something up on my iPad, had a little bit of a tech problem, but we're here now. If you're here, I'd love you to just say a big hi to us and we'll know who's on. Sometimes we don't always know um, who joins us. Um, if I don't mention a hello to you, then, then just know that it's because your name's not popping up. Hey, good evening, dude. Evening, Janet. Good to see you. Evening, Richard and Chloe. Good to have you join us. Hi, Wendy. Hi, lovely too, my lovely Claire. Good to see you. Thanks for this morning's prayers. It was awesome. Hi, Carrie Ann. Good to see you. Just wait for a few of us to join us. Um, hi, Elaine. Fantastic to see you. Right, I'm going to go and grab my cup, so do grab yours if you can, and I'll be two seconds. Just like being organized, hey? <laughs> we've got on here now. Hi, Raymond. So good to see you on here. Good evening, Keith and Anne. Hi, Ali. I love you, Ali. Right, can you all hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can. If you can't at any point, do let me know. And while we're waiting for others to join us, I'd really like to know, how's your day? How's it going? Something you've been up to or something that you feel thankful for today? What can we thank God for in your world today? Just a little something if you want to type it on. I've got two, um, another gadget going off here, haven't I? But bear with me. You can hear me, fantastic. We had a bit of a sound problem, so I'm really glad you can hear me now. Um, this, this evening when praying, ready to come on here with you, um, the song How Great Thou Art just kept running through my mind. Oh, my wonderful friends dragging me through today. Hey, well done you. You know, you give um, God the glory there, Claire, um, because you are a brave young lady. Um, you're a wonderful, wonderful woman that just must go through so much in your life. We have no idea. You're the backbone of the church. I know that for sure. You uh, certainly seek God and wait on him and do a wonderful job behind the scenes. Richard James, good evening. See you. I was able to have a small meeting in church today. Wow. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I keep scrolling the scene. Obviously, my camera's here to talk to you, but I'm going to keep reading because I love to know how you're doing. Cornish chocolate ice cream with a flake, heaven. That sounds it. How are the floods, Noah Long? I'm not sure where we're at, Stephanie, with that, but that sounds funny. Noah would love it if he was up and you mentioned his name this evening. So just today, you know, I went for him. I just had how great thou art. I just want to read that again. So... Then sings my soul, my saviour, God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my saviour, God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. I thought it was a great starting point tonight. How great is our God. And my soul sings out to him. Oh, Claire, your washing machine incident. Oh, God even cares about those moments, my dear. Good evening, Pete. Good to see you. Really good to see you. On the note of how great thou art, let us just pray and give thanks. I want you in your homes to be thanking and shouting out or in your quiet 
mind however you may want to like Jason gave a fantastic talk on on Sunday along with Martin Leiden it's brilliant if you haven't seen Sunday service do go back on St Mag's and watch it you really get something from it whenever you're going to watch that oh Steph you were talking about the water leak oh my water leak okay now I get the Noah bit it's quite funny before we pray I decided today that I don't need anybody to help me do the washing machine. I've never really fixed one, but I'm going to do it. Husband was out and, um, you know, I can do it. Who needs who needs anyone else? And uh, so off I did unscrewing the top pipe, let all the water out, as I thought, in a saucepan. And then I, I pulled the pipe off and it sprayed my face, the room, the kitchen. Um, my my young boy Josh was awesome and come out with like 10 pans and we were filling them because I obviously hadn't turned off the water. Nobody told me that that's what you do when you fix a washing machine. Um, so yeah, I really did have a flood in the kitchen and uh, humbled oneself to say, actually, Ed, I really do need you to do those things. So <laughs> brilliant. But I'll just share why there was a few comments here. Let us pray and give thanks. Do give thanks in your own way and I'll pray with you. Father God, we give you thanks. You are an awesome God. There are no words to describe how awesome you are, Lord. Our souls cry out to you. Our spirit lives in unity with you and we give you praise for all that we do, for the breath of life, for all that we see, all that you do with us, for us, and for others. God, we give you thanks, and we love you dearly. We pray tonight, Holy Spirit, that you will lead us in prayer, that you be with us in, in chatting tonight together and putting what we want to from our hearts and our minds before you. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Oh, I've lost you all there, love. I'm learning about technology all the time. <laughs> okay, so on Sunday's preach about prayer, it was fantastic. Um, I don't know how many of you heard it. I'm trying to work an iPad at the same time here, so bear with me. Um, but I just wanted to spend just a minute, really, putting on our armour. I mean, I know it, but when I get on screen, for some reason, I forget all these things, so... Been blessed, Pete, by making masks for Christian Bookshop. Oh, that's awesome. And for others. Really, really saving the day there. I know that Ali, you do some awesome ones too. And I believe Carrie's been on it um, as well over here. So in the physical, let us just take a moment and put on a helmet of salvation. And I really want to encourage you right now to do that in the physical. That we put on a helmet of salvation, Lord. We put the breastplate of righteousness and we have the shield of faith. That the sword of the spirit which is his word and is true for ways. We will use it well. And the shoes of peace and the belt of truth. Believe that it says in Ephesians, when we look at this, that we are to do this daily and remind ourselves how much strength can come from wearing the armour of God. And I don't know if that's for everybody tonight or for someone in particular, but I really felt to remind ourselves to put on his armour daily and to remember that, that the word is the, the, the what we live by. You know, it is that sword of which... We do our battles, not by our emotions or our own thoughts, but with him, the Holy Spirit, we can do our lives with him. So it's only brief and a little something, but I really felt prompted. I know for me, many times, I may have forgotten that, you know, and um, yeah, I'm being reminded daily to put on our armour. I believe that is um, Ephesians 4. I could be wrong right now. But it's, uh, oh no, Ephesians 6, 11. Put on the whole armour of God and ye may be able to stand against 
all that we face, I'll put it, because I'm not sure how many children are watching too, but go and read that scripture in your own Bible and uh, be reminded to put on your armour. I know for one friend on here, when a particular fan goes off in another person's room, it can really set her mind and um, I encourage you there to put on your armour and to read your word and to, to know his peace and to renew your mind. Um, now, let's give thanks for that. Lord, we give you thanks for your armour. We give you thanks that you prompt us and remind us to physically put it on as well as spiritually and as well as be reminded and renew ourselves in your word and your truth and your strength and your power that comes through wearing each and every one of them where the breastplate can protect us from the arrows that we face lord where the helmet protects us at all times lord. and our mind is protected if we align our lives with you these are your shoes of peace that see us through all things, even times of absolute despair. Belt of truth, your word is wrapped right around us. And the sword of the spirit, you Holy Spirit, come live in us. Refill us, fill us to overflowing, we pray. Make it our soul's desire to pray and thirst for you, Holy Spirit, to fill us over and over. Like a fountain, Lord, we pray more of you and less of us more of your word to renew our minds that we may stay on your narrow path and keep our eyes fixed on you jesus jesus help us to know our identity in you daily hourly wherever we may be at this time it may be that we need it to know it every minute lord remind us our identity is in you jesus christ not in the old but of the new we thank you god Thank you, Jesus. In your mighty name, amen. Amen. Guys, how can we pray together this evening? If anybody has anything that they need praying for, for themselves or for those around you, um, for your community, each, each of us, there's lots of us from different places on here, it's great. Um, from your community, your friends, your family, how can we pray? And for yourselves. Um, which is really important. I'm going to wait for some prayers to come up. As you may type. Good that you needed reminding. So did I, Stephanie. So did I. Sometimes we think we're doing things in God's strength. And, um, and then we realise actually it, this could be my own. And it's often really important to remind ourselves when we're feeling strong that it is he who has made us feel that way. You know, I don't doubt that we're, we're strong people for what we go through or what, we're, what we live each day to day. Um, but he definitely gives us strength and a peace that surpasses all understanding. So lovely to hear what people have been doing. We must not be envious of the ice cream. No, nope. not do that. So um, please do put your prayers down on here. And whilst we wait, um, let us pray for our community out loud, um, where you are, or for one another's community. Um, okay, so Jesus, we lift up our communities to you. We lift up those that are lost, Lord, that need to find you and pray that you make a way. Lord, we pray that you are the comforter of all. Lord, that you step in where there's addiction. Lord, we pray that you step in where there's hurting hearts and wounds god we pray your healing and your power and your might over hearts and minds lord those on here and those that we know around us maybe we, we be maybe we're saved by your healing power that starts us looking back and releasing us to step forward jesus we're aware of those that are wounded um lord and we pray that you become at that counsellor to them. Jesus, I pray that you use each of us counsel through you, your spirit. You will do your works through us. We're opening our hearts to you, Jesus. Right now, here are where we are. In Jesus' name, we give you thanks and praise.
a Greta needs to be sung. <laughs> I know, do you know, I'm not sure on the uh, law of singing on here. So I haven't done it yet, you know. I'm not sure if we've got the license or if Sam has, so uh, I shall have to find that one out. You might not want to, um, love to hear you sing. I, I hear you name words to songs, Nick, and I can hear your voice in my head when you do it. And it really speaks when we're praying and you come up with a song. It's just like, ah, it's like that arrow prayer that Jason was talking about the other day. I find that when I don't know what to pray sometimes, like um, it was said on Sunday, um, I know one way that I do is through song, through the lyrics of words and songs. That is my prayer. I don't know about you, Nick, and, and others. Um, talking to Nick is an awesome musician and very much I you know have has been an inspiration to me and many in St. Mag. So yeah, let's come down your comments. Steph, fear is a killer. I was reminded of the scripture. No weapon fashioned against me will prosper. We need to rebuke oh, root. the spirit of fear. Amen. Let's do that. Stand up and shout, decree and declare out loud, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Let's all do that right now. No weapon shall, no weapon fastened against me will prosper. In Jesus' name, we claim that right now. As we wear our armor, we know nothing can come against us. Please pray, Janet and Heed and yours. Please pray for those I witnessed today that they may know the love of Jesus in fullness. Let's do that with Janet now, each of us. Hey, okay, Janet, we pray right now together with you and to you, Holy Spirit, that you will continue the work where the seeds were planted. Every seed will flourish. Your word speaks. So, Lord, we ask it now in your name, Jesus, that the words that were spoken, or even when the times there was stillness, that your presence was known and still is in who was witness to today. Lord, we pray and claim it now in Jesus' name that these children of yours, God, whatever age they are, they are a child of God. May they know this. May their lives be renewed by your power and your truth. In Jesus' name we claim. We may never know when we pray um, or when we speak to others and witness what happens afterwards, but we trust and know that God is faithful when we come to pray. We trust and know as we stand together, even in this way, that he hears our prayers in our togetherness and, and his work will be done. In Jesus' name, claim this. In claim, claim it in Jesus' name. How else may we pray? Looking for anybody else who needs for and with. I'm going to pray for my husband, Ed, this week. Um, Ed works in Torbay Council, and it'd be really awesome if we can just be praying for him and for his workmates. And um, they do a great job. He works in the more of the children's sector, so... Um, homeless young people that does happen um, and it'd be really lovely if you can pray for him and for his colleagues as they face all that they do in their work so God we lift up Ed and anyone in the council and the children's services Lord that you have your hand upon them that you align their lives with you that they know answers that they didn't know with the work that they have to do. God, you'll speak truth into their hearts daily and give them ways to open doors for these young people. And Lord, you'll keep them safe in the, um, because they're not together anymore in their workplaces, just like many other people on here may not have your colleagues around you. So pray for your colleagues where you work at too in this time. So Lord, we do pray for the teams um, and that togetherness will still stand even when they are having to be apart. Um, and unity will remain in their work together. In Jesus' name. I know for Andy, he's been really missing his bubbly team, some beautiful people there. James Bond, a license to kill Steffi. You're great this evening. I love your humor. Dude, it'd be really good to know how your friend is if you're uh, still with us this evening. Um, awesome is if you um, haven't shared how we can pray here, I want you to know that we're still praying after this and we pray over any message we receive or any email that we receive. 
So I'll we'll leave it there if you want to comment um, individually on the messenger, then please do and share and know that we will be faithful in praying together as a community. I have some lovely notes, but it's going dark in my room. Can you see that, guys? Right, our comforter, our saviour, our living hope, our rock, our father, Jesus, he is mighty. I like to sit this evening, I don't know why I look for notes for this, Jesus, full life for all. Do you have your cups, guys? Let's say, Jesus, full life for all. I love pausing and having a moment like that. It reminds me of the time that we're going to be and have been in church together, sharing one cup, one body. If I haven't seen um, all your comments, I can see some more now. Please break them down. Okay, we've got that. And... Okay, God, we pray for Dan right now. We pray, Lord, that something will stop him steadfast and help him see that there is more to life than addiction. God, it's really hard when you're in addiction because it's the distraction. Um, people think that it's the only way, but God, there is one way, and that's your way. Through you to the Father, it says. So God, we claim this now for him. We pray, Lord, that you will intervene in his life divine interventions we pray that he will meet people know people people speak into his life and connect him with you so that he may do his walk with you jesus we claim this lord we pray for carrie ann's friend brian right now brian lord we have no idea where he's at but he is he is important to you god he is precious in your mind god just as each of us are and, and lord that's by grace and not earned Lord god remind us of that and we pray whatever Brian's story is, that, Lord, that there's going to be a new chapter, a new beginning, a new start with you, a fresh revelation for him. And like Carrie Ann asks, Lord, we pray for a fresh revelation, revelation of you in our lives right now. Let's just hold out our hands as we receive. Jesus, mm, Holy Spirit, we pray for that fresh revelation in you that you fill us anew that you overflow us with your holy spirit that you remind us of who we are that we will stand up with our armor on and our eyes fixed on you and be reminded not to look around but to keep on a narrow path looking directly at you so that god when we do meet with others know um, what to say and your truth and your word may you write it on our hearts lord Thank you that our names are written on your hands. Thank you that those that don't even know you yet, their names are written. It says in the book, it's, their names are written. You call us, Lord. So we thank you for those that don't even know it in our families and our friends, Lord. I pray that you move, that you shake this world, Lord, and, and make something happen. You move the mountains, God. You change things, Lord. We're so desperate to see you move in, in many situations. We pray particularly now for each and every one of us and for Carrie Ann to just feel your Holy Spirit even now, right now, to feel it overflowing. May each of us learn that we breathe you in. We breathe out and we lay down our day. We lay down the hurts or the thoughts. Lord, we lay down the busyness or the rest. Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, whatever it may be, we lay it before you at the cross and thank you for your grace and your favour and your truth, your word and your unconditional love. If nothing else, God, we ask that you show us your unconditional love continuously, God, in forms that each of us can understand. In Jesus' name we claim, amen. Prayer warrior, I call Mike Pugh. Um, he, he's so humble and he says, Oh, no, not me. But Mike, I thank you for joining us this evening. He's, he's um, massively got us through this last year, um, along with a lot of you. But Mike so often gives words that just, just pierce over Ariel and, and other things in our world. And it's great. Bearing one another in love. Amen. Viv, good to see you. Kev, too, I hope. 
big hugs, guys. Really miss seeing each of you face to face. Actually, the fact that we have technology and are able to be as one this evening is absolutely beautiful. As one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer and um, lay down our day before we lay down our heads. Our Father, O oh art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. We forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. God, yours is the glory, power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May we all feel that fresh love from in Jesus. Harriet's beautiful prayer request. I'd like to thank you all for joining this evening. And um, I would like to remind everyone that is local enough, St. Max is open on a Tuesday morning. So get up and go at 9.30 till 11.30. It's a safe place. It's absolutely like squeaky clean, all safe you know, different ways that we've done it that makes it a place that you can go. Um, I know that we can live with God right here and we can share, but you know, there's something different. When I went there a couple of weeks ago and just sat with one of the team, I had no reason to particularly go and pray. I just said, just I want to be filled more and more of Jesus and sitting in the house of God, sitting in that beautiful building and just being didn't feel it strange. It felt beautiful. And I want to encourage anyone that has the time tomorrow, pop along, sit in a place where you want to. And uh, one of the team will either join you or you can just be. So do go along to St. Mag's tomorrow when you can. Hey, okay, Viv, we're going to pray for you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, Pete. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'll ring through my mind all evening now. Um, okay. Father God, we pray and give you thanks for Viv and Kev and the family. Holy Spirit, you know their needs, Lord. You know that whatever it is on their hearts, their minds, or in their world around them, God, you are going to intervene. Pray right now, Holy Spirit, that you give them reassurance, that you give them peace, that you stand against any negativity or any thoughts that may be blocking the faith, because these are faith-filled people, but we know that you come and, and sometimes, Lord, you, you're in the silent place. So when they cannot hear you, I pray that you show them a way. Show them now, Lord, a way forward, whether it's to lay things down or pick things up whether it's to run with things or be still. Jesus, we pray that your wisdom, your wisdom will come. Jesus, you know their hearts, you know what's going on. We don't, but Lord, you care. When one is wounded and, and we know that you are, the Lord, wherever there is a need, we pray right now that you're going to place them on a solid rock of which they stand on you and that nothing, no matter what falls down around them, they're going to be standing on that solid rock, but they have the greatest riches in you, Jesus. Fill their store cupboards, Lord. Fill them to overflowing. Provide in every way that is needed, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, receive. Amen. Praying for you guys. We love you to bits. Know that we're all here. If there's anything you want need. I'm going to just read down, trying not to miss. Still humming how great thou art just right now. I think that's it guys. And I've gone over by a few minutes, but do you know what? Jesus forgives me because uh, it matters, doesn't it? When we just spend that time together. Um, so may the Lord be with you as you lay down to sleep this evening. May your minds be at peace. 
may you be of sound mind and may your hearts feel a thankfulness of overflowing and wake for a new day. Good night and God bless guys. We love you dearly. I can see one of my youngsters coming in, bigger one it is, I think. So good night and God bless. And um, we'll continue to pray for each other and we'll see you in the morning at 9am. Take care. Bye.